Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're going to list the super yachts owned by billionaires. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Billionaires are the true definition of wealthy, and one way of flaunting their hard-earned money is through yachts. Let's list them out. Eclipse this mega yacht is owned by Russian businessman Roman Abramovich, who is best known as the founder of Millhouse LLC, a private investment firm. In addition, he is the owner of the Chelsea Football Club. His current net worth is around 17.4 billion US dollars, allowing him to purchase a yacht designed by Terence Disdale and built by Blom and Voss of Hamburg. With a top speed of 22 knots, this super yacht is 162.5 meters long and has nine decks. Swimming pools, a dance hall, a tiny submarine, and two helicopter pads are also available. Because this yacht can accommodate 24 people, he can bring some of his buddies over. With all these luxurious amenities, the price tag is stunning at 500 million US dollars. A sailing yacht. Andrei Milnichenko, a Russian billionaire industrialist who owns both the fertilizer company Eurochem Group and the coal energy company Suek, owns this super yacht. He now has a net worth of approximately $18.7 billion. He purchased Nobiskrug, a ship built at a shipyard on the Eider River in Germany, with his sum of money. The original concept originated from Jacques Garcia, who also designed the interior with Philippe Stark. It has 8 decks and 119 meters of length. It also has freestanding carbon fiber rotating masts that allow it to reach a top speed of 21 knots. The underwater observation pod is one of its most notable features. Milnichenko can invite some friends over because the yacht can sleep up to 14 people. This comes at a cost of more than $400 million, which is a drop in the bucket for his net worth. Symphony Bernard Arnault is a French billionaire businessman who is the chairman and CEO of LVMH, the world's largest products firm. He now has a net worth of $197.4 billion which enabled him to purchase Symphony, a ship built by Feedship, a renowned shipyard based in Harlem, the Netherlands. With an exterior designed by Tim Haywood, it is 101.5 meters in length and has six decks. It can reach speeds of up to 22 knots. Because this is a super yacht, you can expect 6 meter glass bottom pool, an outdoor cinema, and a sun deck jacuzzi for 8 of his guests to enjoy. It is said to have cost him roughly $150 million to build. Faith Michael Latifi is the owner of this super yacht. Lauren Stroll, a Canadian billionaire and part owner of the Aston Martin Formula One team, once owned it. However, it was recently sold to Michael Latifi, the father of Formula One driver Nicholas Latifi, a fellow Canadian businessman with a new net worth of slightly under $2 billion. The super yacht is 97 meters long and features a glass bottom swimming pool with a bar. There's also a helicopter on the premises. The yacht was built by Feedship and features exteriors by RWD of Beaulieu and interiors by Chenon Design. In total, it was claimed to have cost $200 million to build in 2017. Amevi The Indian steel billionaire Lakashmi Mittal, who also happens to be the chairman and CEO of Arcelor Mittal, the world's largest steelmaking firm, owns this super yacht. In addition, he owns 20% of the Queen Park Rangers. He now has an estimated net worth of $18 billion. The Oceano Shipyard, which is also based in the Netherlands, built this ship. It was designed by Nuvolari and Leonard on the outside and by Alberto Pino on the inside. The ship's length is 80 meters. It has six decks and can reach speeds of 18.5 knots. There's a jacuzzi on the deck, a helipad, a swimming pool, and a tender garage. It can sleep up to eight people. The construction of this yacht has cost roughly $125 million. Odessa 2 This ship is owned by British businessman Sir Leonard Blavatnik. Access Industries is the founder of a worldwide industrial conglomerate that owns Warner Music Group, Spotify, and the Grand Hotel du Cap Ferrat. Nobis Krug, the same German shipyard that produced Sailing Yacht A, built it. Focus Yacht Design was in charge of both the interior and outside design. It has a length of 74 meters and a top speed of 18 knots. An intimate beach club, a baby grand piano, a private master cabin terrace, and an outdoor theater are all available. The construction of this yacht alone costs $80 million. Hydrogen-powered super yacht. 
There has been a lot of fanfare in the media that the Microsoft billionaire Bill Gates has purchased a hydrogen-powered $644 million super yacht from Sino Yacht Architecture and Design called the Aqua. The Aqua is a 367-foot vessel that will store liquid hydrogen fuel in twin 28-ton vacuum-sealed tanks, with a temperature of negative 423 degrees Fahrenheit. When the sci-fi concept ship was unveiled in May at the Monaco Yacht Show, it generated a lot of buzz. Since then, speculation has swirled about whether Bill Gates, the IT magnate, bought the super yacht or not. Regardless of the answer, there are still a lot of technical questions to be answered. The super yacht is hydrogen powered, as previously stated. But what does this imply? Simply defined, hydrogen fuel cell technology works by using a chemical reaction to generate power. The tank's fuel is pressurized hydrogen, which reacts with oxygen in the air to produce electricity via a chemical process. Fuel cells are more efficient from the start than combustion engines, which must convert chemical potential energy into heat before performing mechanical work. Most internal combustion engines nowadays have a fuel efficiency of around 25%, while power plants have a fuel efficiency of around 35%. When employed in a combined heat and power system, however, a stationary fuel cell can achieve an efficiency of more than 80%. If you can find a hydrogen gas station, hydrogen can be transported through a pipeline in a supercooled liquid form similar to liquefied natural gas. And the refueling process is similar to the conventional cars, planes, and boats. The new Aqua, on the other hand, is not intended for widespread consumption. The Aqua will reportedly use a proton exchange membrane fuel cell to power its 28-ton engines, which is the leading hydrogen cell fuel now used in many light-duty and material landing vehicles. Venus Venus is an entirely personalized creation constructed for the late Apple founder Steve Jobs, who Feedship claims had a hand in her completely unique design. Unfortunately, Jobs never had the opportunity to board before his tragic death in 2011, the year before Venus was launched. The yacht, however, is still in the family, and it is now owned by his widow, Laureen Powell Jobs. Venus is a completely private vessel that is not offered for charter. Jobs was widely reported saying the following to his biographer. I know that it's possible I will die and leave Loreen with a half-built boat, but I have to keep going on it. If I don't, it's an admission that I'm about to die. A striking silver paint job, shining stainless steel embellishments, and a line of rectangular windows stretching from the bow to just past the amidships dominate the appearance. Venus is long and slender, with an 11.8 meter beam and low-slung glass superstructure. The outside of Venus was designed by Stark, with clean lines and 90 degree angles. She boasts an axe bow, as well as an odd flat squared stern that opens to reveal a tender garage. Main Owning a yacht is a luxury that few people can afford, but Giorgio Armani went one step further by designing it himself. The super yacht main named after the fashion designer billionaire took 30 months to build, and was finished in 2008 in conjunction with the building business Coda Casa. The 65 meter long hull was designed by Armani in a dark green color to help the ship blend in at sea. The yacht can seat up to 12 passengers in its 7 staterooms, in addition to its 14 crew members. In addition to the usual color scheme, guests on board can enjoy a movie, marbled bathrooms, a gym, and a whirlpool. The drapes and windows were designed by Armani himself to provide a panoramic perspective of the main space. In reality, the yacht's minimalist aesthetic is achieved through the utilization of Armani's Italian company's furniture. What's your favorite yacht on the list? Let us know in the comment section down below. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.